For nearly a century, astronomers have been struggling to explain a curious yet arcane particle known as dark matter. Scientists theorize that about 27% of the universe is composed of this strange matter. Dark matter is conjectured to be a particle that does not interact with electromagnetic radiation. Scientists postulate its existence mostly because of its gravitational influence on astronomical bodies, which we can detect. In a galaxy, Newton's laws of gravity and motion imply that stars closer to the galaxy's center should have a greater rotational velocity than those further away from which. On a smaller scale, in our solar system, planets closer to the Sun, the center of mass, such as Mercury, orbit much faster than those further away, such as Uranus. The rotational velocity of a planet in our solar system is given by the following formula. Mercury's orbital radius is smaller than that of Uranus, so we are dividing by a smaller value, thereby giving a greater orbital speed. As such, we should expect to observe the same behavior of stars orbiting a galaxy's center of mass. But this is not what we see. In fact, a star's distance from the center does not affect its rotational velocity in any significant way. Notice that as the distance from the center of the Milky Way increases, the relative velocity of the stars is pretty much flat. To interpret these findings, astronomers postulate that there must be some extra, undetected matter whose mass influences the velocity of these stars everywhere. So much so that we believe dark matter is the dominant source of gravity in the universe. The bullet cluster is comprised of two galaxy clusters that collided with each other. The majority of its viewable mass comes from interstellar gas and stars. All of this gas is in gravitational equilibrium, meaning that the gas's outward pressure equals the gravity's inward pull. The temperature of this gas depends on the mass of the cluster. The gas's temperature is proportional to its kinetic energy because its particles collide more often and with more energy as temperatures increase. The amount of kinetic energy in the system creates the outward pressure, meaning that the inward pressure is proportional to the kinetic energy of the gas particles. Using X-ray telescopes, we can find the temperature of this gas. With this, we can calculate the system's kinetic energy and the average velocity of its particles, because velocity is proportional to temperature. Given the gravitational equilibrium equation and the velocity, we can find the cluster's mass. These calculations imply that the mass of the cluster is up to 40 times larger than the total mass of all of the stars in the bullet cluster, accounting for the gas's mass and stars, meaning that there must be some extra unseen matter in the cluster. We are ultimately unsure whether dark matter exists or if our theory of gravity is somewhat flawed. Nonetheless, the theory of dark matter uses a relatively simple theoretical framework to explain the most profound and strange of all astronomical phenomena.